If you want to add a level of sophistication to your next dessert, try making some of these simple caramel sugar decorations to use as a garnish. First things first, you need to make some caramel. This is really simple. Just add sugar and a little water to a pot and turn the heat on to medium. Allow the water to hydrate the sugar as much as possible without stirring it. If there's still lumps of dry sugar, you can gently shake the pot to mix it in. As the sugar bubbles away, some crystals will start to form on the inside edge of the pot. To remove these, all you need is a brush and a little cold water to gently brush down the sides of the pot. The color should start to darken after a few minutes. Resist the urge to stir it with a spoon, but if you sense that it's cooking unevenly, you can lightly swirl the mixture every so often. Once you have a rich caramel color, remove it from the heat. Now it needs to cool slightly before you can start to work with it. For these first decorations, take a small spoonful of caramel and drizzle it a few inches above a piece of parchment paper. Move the spoon around to create whatever shape or pattern you want. This should give you a good feel for the consistency of the caramel and you can have fun making up new shapes and patterns. Once you've mastered that, you can move on to the next decoration. For this, you'll need a long piece of parchment paper sprayed with non-stick cooking spray. Again, take a spoonful of your caramel, but this time hold the spoon higher above the parchment paper and rapidly drizzle it from side to side. The idea is to get long, thin strands of caramel. Now quickly use a palette knife to gently loosen the caramel from the paper and carefully gather the strands together. You need to work fast here to ensure they stay malleable. You should be able to gently roll the gathered strands into a loose circle which has a gorgeous delicate look. For the next decoration, you'll need a ladle generously sprayed with cooking spray. Now holding the ladle upright, drizzle the caramel in thin strands back and forth across the back of the scooped end. You want to crisscross the strands to create a delicate caramel cage. After a few seconds, the sugar should be hard enough for you to gently slide it off the ladle. For this last one, you want your caramel to be quite a bit cooler than before. It should also be much thicker and you should be able to carefully pinch off a piece and pull it out to create a strand of caramel. Now position a lightly greased wooden spoon under the strand of caramel and use your thumb to hold it in place. Slowly and making sure to keep a consistent strand, wrap the caramel tightly around the handle. Once you're satisfied, break off the ends and very carefully slide the caramel spiral off the end of the handle. Now you have a beautiful and fun decoration for your favorite desserts. Subscribe to Dished for more delicious recipes.